PC Perspective's coverage of the 2013 Consumer Electronics Show is brought to you by AMD and the second generation A-Series APUs. Hey guys, we're here at the Gigabyte Suite and we're going to talk with Colin about some 4K display stuff. Hey guys, nice to see you again, PC Perspective. Um, so today I want to show you our new Thunderbolt motherboards. Now we've been selling these boards for a couple of months now. Uh, the unique feature of this, of course, we've got dual Thunderbolt ports on board. And uh, we found a new application uh, that our customers can actually enable at the end of this month, and that's 4K display. So as you see here, we've got a system set up here, and it's a demo showing 4K um, video content. So actually, each of the Thunderbolt cables, uh, it's split with a Lenovo splitter in the back into mini DisplayPort, two of them. So it's powering both monitors. So we actually have a solution from Intel. It's called a collage driver. Um, they're enabling this to, to, to happen. Um, we put it into our BIOS, and our users can upload that BIOS at the end of this month and get instant 4K uh, monitor support. So the great thing is you're actually inputting from the dis uh, integrated graphics. Not right, so, so there's no discrete card on this. You're running this strictly off the, the Intel HD 4000 graphics, I guess. Correct, correct. So that means you can do a low-cost uh, 4K solution, you know, whether you're a stock trader and you need multiple monitors or digital signage or in hospitals, right. you know, many different applications. And have you been impressed with the type of content that you've seen on this? Well, obviously right now the cameras are quite expensive and right. you know, there's a limited amount of content, but you know, just walking around the floor here at CES, you can see 4K is you know, the, the buzzword for this year. So. Obviously, besides the 4K display, Gigabyte has some other stuff on display, including thin mini ITX platforms. Yeah, we have uh, two boards that we're showing off that we're going to launch in February. And we've got a B75 uh, thin mini ITX board, as well as an H77. Um, as, as you can see on this board, it's a very low profile. Uh, we got a design standard from Intel uh, specifications, because they want all these motherboards to be able to fit in all-in-one chassis, so people can actually DIY their own all-in-one system. So we're looking at SODIMM memory modules, like half height on the, on the ATX, or on the connectors on the outside, that kind of stuff? Yep, uh, MSATA, um, things that normally we don't put on a desktop motherboard, like LVDS, um, also uh, mobile power brick. Um, this board also, instead of just the all-in-one segment, we're also pushing for the embedded space, industrial usage. We've got things like 12-volt or 19-volt power. Um, we also have MSATA slot and mini PCI Express slot, as well as a PCI Express card here um, by four. Obviously, for all-in-ones, you're not going to be able to use it, but for the embedded space, you can. So Intel's working with us closely. Um, we have the design guide from them. Also, the chassis vendors, uh, they're trying to make it as easily to, to build as possible. Yeah. So the chassis vendors, they come with the power supply. They come with the cooler. Um, all you have to do is go on to Newegg or wherever you buy your hardware and buy a motherboard, chassis, and memory, and CPU, and you're good to go. And we've got one of them right here that we can we can show. It's, this just happens to be, who, who's this from? So this is a chassis from MyTech. Uh, this is a new one that they're launching this month. It's actually touch enabled. Okay. So it's a pretty cool, sleek, thin design. Um, and let me show you how easy it is to actually set up. We've taken off the back panel. Uh, it's two screws here. You take it off. And as you can see here, the motherboard set up here. You've got the, the, the fan and the cooler here, um, power connector over here. So everything's pretty much easy to access and reach and, and, and build your own system. And what do you think the growth segments are for this? Is, this? is this something you guys expect to really take off? Yeah, so Intel is really, uh, you know, they've done their projections and they think that the all-in-one segment, the DIY all-in-one, are the only you know, major growth segments for the desktop industry this year. So they're definitely um, pushing this segment. And, and we do think that, you know, Eventually, there's more and more chassis that become available. Right now, there's about eight or nine, I think. Um, and easier for people to go out and purchase them, the easier it is, and the, the more people will actually do it. Very cool. Thanks.